All right, Shalom, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem Rakhakodash, Brakatham. In the water, the water Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai for the Spirit and Truth. And as always, double honors to my apostles, elders, a great millstone over the wall. I told me this truth through the Spirit, Brakatham. And as always, salutations to the Zakwani and Wa'aki and across the four corners of the earth that's teaching the truth and sincerity and honesty. All right, and I'll show you one more thumb. Laha Bakhariam, show y'all which is peace and love to the elect of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans scattered, uh, scattered across the four corners of the earth that are predestined the elect of the nation of Israel, that are predestined, all right, according to the mercy of Yahweh Shemiah Shai to be saved in these last days, man. All right, and uh, pretty much I'm a fellow servant called Yashala. And uh, pretty much through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, you know, um, they let me go home early, you know, uh, tonight or today. And pretty much, um, you know, I'm walking home, you know, because I live right down the street. And I just, as I'm walking home, I just started to, you know, meditate heavy on the mercy, you know, the mercy of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, man, you know. And uh, how beautiful, you know, how beautiful his mercy is, man. You know? Because the scriptures say our righteousness in the eyes of the Heavenly Father is filthy, man. Okay? And the scriptures say in the book of Sirach, when you exalt the Heavenly Father, exalt him with all your heart because you can never go far enough. All right? So when it comes down to trying to please the Lord, you know, you you got hey the script say this is our reasonable service man all right so i was meditating like damn you know i mean you know here it is we in 2019 and esau's esau eating the so-called white man for those that don't know we're in his last leg man all right we're in his last leg of rulership and what now we are in these last days you know you gotta meditate, you know, when you sit back and really think, and this is to you young guy, I can first foremost to myself, you know, this is the mercy of the Lord, man. The covenants, the scriptures say the most high will not lie, you know, and he don't change. So when he told Abraham, our forefather Abraham, all right, that he will multiply his seed, when he told him he would, he would, he would bless his seed, the covenants that he made all the way with Isaac, okay, Jacob, the 12 patriarchs, their seed to the third and fourth generation, the righteous man, the patriarchs, okay? The patriarchs that came out of Israel, man. Righteous man by the sure, you already know by the sure mercies of David. <laughs> righteous man that actually, righteous spirits that, that took on his flesh and walked this planet earth and the top angel himself, man, the top man to come in the form of, of this flesh to come in this weak form, all right, and, and to be the vessel, all right, of the Heavenly Father to lay down his life for the whole nation of Israel, man. That's complete mercy, man. All right, and he did that for, for the elect chiefly in the book of St. John, the 17th chapter, okay? All right, you know, the mercy of the Lord is, man, it's all about his mercy, man. So, but when you go into the etymology, because the spirit had it to where I just went to the uh, uh, etymology and I'm just going through the spirit, you know. This is the word mercy. It's from the late 1200s. It says, God's forgiveness of his creatures. All right. It says, God's forgiveness of his creatures, man. All right. The scriptures say, um, uh, the Lord said, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, will I punish you for your iniquities. You know, when you think about the transgression, hey, because what's sin? Sin is a transgression of the law. So when you think about transgressing the law, man, we transgress the law every day, man. None of us is worthy, man. But what? The scriptures say faith without works, man, is dead. See, this is about the faith, man. We believe. We believe that we're worthy in the eyes of Yahweh Shemel Shai because of our faith, man. All right, because we're doing the things that he told us to do, which is what show show mercy to, so show mercy so that you can obtain mercy, man. All right, show mercy so that you can obtain mercy, man. All 
All right, be a leader to the flock, tend to the sheep, feed the flock that is among you, go out to the highways and hedges, be occupied in prophecies, man, fervent in the spirit. You know, when you think about it, when you think about the scriptures, these are the things that we, this are, these are the things that uh, you got to be doing, man. You know, so the Lord can show you that mercy, man. You know, so that he can, he can be there for you, man. You know, because you're doing the things for him, man. You know, pre pre present your body as a living sacrifice, okay? you in the spirit. You're doing the works. Hey, a, a just man falls seven times, but you get back up. You're constantly in the spirit. You're constantly working, man. You know, you ain't hey, being the best brother you can be, all right? In the spirit, in your lot, you know? All right? So, the most high, how about Shemesh what? He's going to have forgiveness on you, all right? Because you, what? You're showing mercy, man. So, the Heavenly Father going to show mercy on you, man. It says, Yahweh Shemeshai's forgiveness of his creatures. Come on. And the scriptures tell you, all right, the Lord could have, when the book of um, uh, Deuteronomy, if I'm not mistaken, or in Exodus, if I'm not mistaken, basically uh, the Most High was telling Moses, look, man, I, you know, I'm I'm through with these people, man. You know, he said, Get, you know, basically, you know, move out the way lest I consume you, you know. Let me, you know, consume these people, man, you know. Why? Because we were stiff-necked and hard-headed people even to this day. All right, so matter of fact, let me get a quick precept on that. In the Apocrypha, in the book of Baruch. All right, because when you look at Jake today, you know, that's mercy of the Lord. You know, most High going to have mercy on two thirds. They mercy kills, man. You know, I did a video on that not too long ago. Two thirds is a mercy kill. All right, because when you go into the etymology of the word mercy kill, it means a patient. With, a, with an incurable disease. Two-thirds two -thirds are patients because they're all sick. The whole head is sick. The scripture say that in the book of Isaiah, the first chapter. All of us are sick, right? So two-thirds are patients that have an incurable disease. And what is that incurable disease? That incurable disease is a can't-get-right spirit, man. And the Most High put that energy on them, put that spirit, put that vibration on them to not receive his truth. That's why the scriptures, that's why Yahweh Shai, he knew who his man was. And he said, what in the book of St. John 17? He said, I pray for them that will believe on me through their word, man. Okay. He already knew who, who, who his man were. That's why he said, I have, he said, and those that thou hast given me, I have kept and none of them are lost. Okay. So none of the men of the Lord and none of the one third is lost, man. Who going to be saved according to the mercy? They're going to be saved according to the mercy, man. All right? And who's going to be a mercy kill according to that that lot? That's going to be the two-thirds, man, whoever they are. You know, Lord's will, you know, the Lord, Lord's will, you know, I'm, I'm not one of those men, you know? But that's why we, you know, we in the spirit, you know? So this is a, pre this is a precept on how pretty much the Yahweh Shemiah Shah just, you know, He's just like, hey, man, look, man, these people are just wicked, man, you know, sin upon sin, you know, have removed us from our power, okay? But the Most High is so merciful and so compassionate on his people, you know, that what? He gave us his only begotten son. That's John 3, 16, man. For Yahweh, all right? Bashmi Shai loved the world so much, loved the world of Israel so much, man. All throughout, And what does that mean? All throughout our captivities. Every captivity we went into, man. All right, all of our captivity is what the Most High always had a remnant. He always had mercy on the remnant, man. Okay. And yeah, what? So for Yahweh Shemeshah so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son, man. All right. His only begotten son is who? Yahweh Shemeshah, who the word he only calls Jesus Christ today. All right. That whosoever believe in him shall not perish, man. All right. But have everlasting life. And who is that? That's the elect, man. Okay. Because through the elect, two-thirds is going to get it. Because two-thirds never had... But, uh, and two thirds never believed in the Lord. Two thirds never had faith in the Lord, man. All right. Uh, Baruch chapter one, and uh, I'm gonna start at verse seventeen. It says, "For we have sinned before the Lord, right? And sin is transgression on the law, and disobeyed Him, and have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power, right? And the Scriptures tell you, and um, matter of fact." Cause it's saying we and we have now hearkened unto the voice of the Lord, you know. So hey, you, you know this is the mercy of the Lord right here because He said He would raise up prophets in, in Babylon, man, in the book of Jeremiah. All right. 
Salaki, I think that's Hosea. You know, Salaki, I think I'm just going off the spirit right now. Straight off the plantation, you know. Alright, um, I think that's Hosea. Khan, the Wadi Habashmi Al Shai, that's the spirit. All right, so it said, Baruch 1 and 18, and disobey him and have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power. All right, and I have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power. This is Hosea chapter 12, verse 10. I have also, I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry, by the ministry of the prophets, man. I'm going to read this again. Hosea chapter 12, verse 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes. Kind. So, Most High Yahweh, I say he have always spoken by the prophets, man. Okay, in the book of the Chronicles, all right, in Amos, the third chapter, it says the Most High will re only reveal his secrets to his servants. So, Jeremiah, the 28th chapter, says... Um, the prophets of before me and before thee of old prophesied against. So what? Anytime, anytime a kingdom got out of hand, hey, look at the book of Joel. I mean, uh, Jonah, man. Look what happened with Jonah. Okay, when Jonah was uh, 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 bucking up, he didn't want to uh, go prophesy. What? The Most High put the Spirit, all right, on the, on this great fish, all right, to swallow him up and take his ass back to to the uh, city of Nineveh, man. All right, and the prophesy, and that's just like what's going on today. That's why we cry, we crying out and we are calling out to the elect men. We calling out to the prophets, man, to come out of Babylon, man, and be part, be not partakers of her sin, and to wake up and put on sackcloth, man. All right, and put on the spirit and prophesy, man, and wake up, wake up his people, man. Because what the Most High speak by his prophets, man. To hell with us, because when that judgment come, we gonna hope that the Most High Yahweh have mercy on us. But that judgment gonna come, man. All right. So let's read this again. All right, back at Baruch 1 and 18. And disobey him and have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power. Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. Right, and it says by, by the ministry, it says by the hand. Right, man, and do not the scripture say the Lord will uh, uh, hold thy hand. All right, what does that mean, man? Okay. Uh, the scriptures say the, the angels of the Lord are encamped around about him. Though just man fall seven t seven times, he get back up. So, hey, uh, a man's goings are the Lord. So what? Everywhere we went throughout all these captivities, the Most High Yahweh Shai had had prophets. Man, he had mercy on the prophets and and what we were called seers in that time in the ancient world. Okay, to be raised up and to prophesy. All right, uh, uh, against great kingdoms and what Israel is a kingdom, man. You got the southern kingdom, kingdom and the northern kingdom. All right, but as a as a whole, or the nation of Israel is a kingdom, man. Okay. Give me a second. Some of this, there's some of this good, you know, this good smoke out. <laughs> you know. All right, going back to Baruch, chapter one, verse eighteen, and disobeyed him. And have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power. Right, so now we know the Most High speak by the mouth of his prophets. To walk in the commandments that he gave us openly. Right, so the Lord, Yahweh Shai, gave us these commandments openly, man. And what did our people do? Going back to the time of uh, Moses, man. All right, what? They told um, Aaron, his brother, they said, look, you know, he, you know, he pretty much up there. I don't know what he got going on up there, but he bugging out, man. You know, build us this golden calf. All right. Let us worship his golden calf. Hey, even in the time of uh, in the second Kings, uh, I'm sorry, first Kings, uh, the 12th chapter, going into uh, in the 13th chapter, going into the, the split of the northern and the southern kingdom, man, with uh, King Solomon's son, uh, Rehoboam, and his uh, servant Jeroboam, man. All right, you know, going back into that time, what happened? They both all all them went off, okay. But what did Jeroboam do? He said, he said, let's let's uh, Israel. Okay, he said, let's Israel uh, uh, return unto J uh, Jerusalem, all right? And then they looked to slay him, man, okay? So what he built, he built them, uh, he built them statues, man. He built them golden calves then. And he said, let these be your gods, O Israel. 
You see? So the same thing went on. And in the book of 2 Kings around, I think the 10th chapter as well too. All right? Our people have always worshipped idols. And that's why the, I'm going to read the precept after, uh, through the spirit of power. How about Shemuel Shai and Baruch? Because it says, even unto this day, because even unto this day, Jude, the two the two head tribes of the southern and the northern kingdom, Judah, which is the so-called Negroes, and uh, uh, the head of the northern kingdom, Ephraim, they uh, uh, through them two, mainly them two, they worship Tesere Borgera. They worship idols to this day, man. You know? Constantly. And that's why we have put, we put up the... the uh, 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 we put up the depiction of the closest depiction of how Yahweh Shai will look. Because we not do we don't worship it. Alright? But no, it's the closest you're gonna get to to how he will look rather than that damn devil, man. With long stringy hair as a dog, man. You know? Cause that's that's baloney, man. That's that's false, man. You know, that's fake food. That's GMO food that the so called Esau Edom is feeding you out, because he's genetically modified himself, man. Okay? The scriptures say he's he's more valid than the beast himself, man. Okay? So Kawhi Mini saw Edom is the wicked of the earth, man. Okay. So Baruch chapter 1, verse 19, here it is. It says, Since the day that our Lord, Yahweh Shemi Al Shai, brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt. Council, pretty much what? We need mercy, man. Because what? We constantly been going off. We constantly going off. The scriptures say, even the Apostle Paul said, war with, uh, within his members, man. Okay. I think in the book of Romans. He said, uh, the thing, he said, that which I will to do, I do not. That thing which I hate, I do, man. You know, and that's us in his flesh, okay? That's us in his flesh, okay? And that's why he was so heavy in his spirit, because what? He said, be be followers of me as I am of my shop, man. Okay? He was very zealous in the spirit. He was on fire in the spirit. So that's how we got to be in the spirit, man. All right? Verse 19, since the day that Yehovah Shemel Shai brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt until this present day, right? So until this present day, man, Jake is what? Disobedient, man. Constantly going off. So this is why we need mercy, Yehovah Shemel Shai, man. You know, this is why we need the mercy, man. You know? Because this flesh, you know, this flesh is weak, man. This flesh is disgusting. This flesh wants. It constantly wants. And it is never satisfied, man. You cannot satisfy this flesh. Okay, if you could satisfy this flesh, then we we wouldn't be here, man. You know, we'll be in the kingdom. Look at the great, look at the greatest king, one of the, two of the greatest kings, King David and King Solomon. They both went off, and they both was in his flesh. You cannot satisfy this flesh. That's why in the book of Ecclesiastes, what did he say? Okay, he was a vine, vine he was a, 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 a he tent to the vineyard. Okay. He was a gardener, roughly say, say. Okay. King Solomon had, you know, we always say he had 700 wives and 300 concubines. And it also said he had princes. So he, he had over a thousand women. And he knew, he was not satisfied. Okay. He was the greatest, richest king on the planet Earth. And he was not satisfied. Okay. Why? Because he was in his tangible flesh. This flesh always wants. So that's why we, we're... Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shai and the mercy of the Lord, all right, we're going to be in a new a new body, man, and under a new covenant that we're not going to have. We ain't going to need the want for anything. We just going to have pleasure, and that's what the that's what heaven means, man. Okay, the word uh, heaven just basically means uh, pleasant, man, or pleasure. Okay, we're going to have that ultimate balance. That's what that's that's what uh, God is, man. You know, being able to be uh, ultimate balanced. We're going to be ultimate balanced out. You know. All right, and that's going to be so beautiful, man, to have that judgment over, over. Uh, that's why the Lord said, "Because that was faithful over a few, I will make thee Lord over many." Man. All right, we're gonna have the 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 opportunity of a lifetime, the opportunity of uh, uh, eternity, not a like not uh, uh, like Eminem say, "This opportunity come once in a lifetime. You better lose this." No, nah, we ain't gonna have no opportunity once in a lifetime. No, we're gonna have the opportunity of eternity. The opportunity of immortality, man. Okay? And that's only a few s s uh, selection or elect of men. And that's 144,000. And through them, in the, uh, one third, the two thirds was going to uh, uh, come back, man. You know? All right? You know, and that's, that's, that, that's A. That's com the A, man. That's ultimate mercy, man. You know? Being able to live, man. When we, we worthy of death, man. You know? 
That's why you got to give all praise and glory to y'all about Shemiel Shah. Here it is. We are vessels worthy of death, but through through your help, Hashem Yahshua, we have mercy, man, upon our spirit, upon our soul. Through this word, the scripture saying, "This and receive the grafted word that is able to save your soul." You know. So, like I said, meditating on the, on His mercy, man, meditating on the mercy of the Lord. Here it is. We got the greatest job here on the planet Earth, even though it's the hardest job, it's the toughest job to do every day. Because the scripture say, "Him that is not uh, worthy to." pick up his cross daily and follow after me and cannot be my disciple even though it's a hard job it's a burden but you gotta always look at the balance man yeah we catching hell but what are we catching hell for are you just catching hell no you catching hell for you catching you losing the game you're not even losing because what apostle paul said he said those the things that i things that i lost i count as dumb to gain you how shy man and what is Yahweh Shai? Yahweh Shai is life. Yahweh Shai is peace, immortality, man. Okay? Peace with the Heavenly Father, man. All right? So we ain't even losing. We really just mortifying the members, man. We really just shutting off this old man completely until we be physically out of this thing, man. Out of this creature, man. Out of this fucking uh, vessel uh, uh, of weakness, man. Okay? Vessel of destruction. Because that's what the flesh is. And see the so-called, I mean, so eating what? Him being the ultimate uh, 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 carnal thing on the planet Earth, okay? He is the son of perdition, okay? He is destruction, okay? Hey, he said, what did, what did, uh, uh, what did Robert Oppenheimer say? He said, I have become death. The so-called, I mean, he's so eating is death. He's feeding you death. You breathing death, drinking death, man. Then what? Our people strung out on these drugs. They drugged up, man. You know? Then what? A lot of our people smoke these cigarettes. And they tell you it can't cause death. Can't cause cancer, man. You know? Baruch 1 is, uh, 19. Since the day that Yehovah Shemiah Shai brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt unto this present day, we have been disobedient unto the Lord our power. And we have been negligent, Salaki. We have been, yeah, come. We have been negligent and not hearing his voice. Wherefore the evils cleave unto us. And what is the evils that cleave unto us? The evils that cleave unto us is these curses, man. Be, hey, the scripture say, gather ye yourselves, ye nation that are uh, not desired, man. Okay. Hey, the scripture say, we we, we going to have a, a, we, we have a hose, all right, in our bag, roughly to say. Here it is. Every time you get paid, you get paid. But you really ain't even getting paid. You're getting paid to pay bills, man. All right? You ain't, we ain't even getting paid. Here it is. We working to survive, man. All right? All right? You know, and this, this is a society that... This is a society that's uh, causing hurt continuously on the nation of Israel. You know? And pushes death. Okay? It says, Wherefore the evils cleave unto us in the curse which the Lord Yahabashim Yahushua appointed by Moses his servant. Right, and what is that going back to the time of Deuteronomy 28? Okay. It said, These curses cleave unto us as it is this day because we have been disobedient to his voice. That's why the scripture say in the book of Jeremiah in the second chapter. Okay. Let's get that real quick through the spirit. Okay. Let's get that real quick. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 5. I'm going to start verse 4. It says, Hear ye the word of the Lord. All right? So there it is again. All throughout the scriptures, it says, Hearken unto the word, my son. Despise not. You know, hear, hear ye of the word. You know, hear the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord that came unto this prophet, that prophet, the burden of the word of the Lord. What did Yahweh Shai say? He said, It is not my will, but his will that have sent me, man. Constantly, man. You know, constantly what? Talking about the words of the Heavenly Father. Okay, so that's why it says, Jeremiah 2 and 4, hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, the Lord, okay, Yehovah Shemiah house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Who is that? So once again, that's a cut, that's another cut to who did the Most High Yehovah Shemiah speak to? He is only speaking to the nation Israel. He's only speaking to the nation Israel. Okay, it's another cut. It says, all the families of the house of Israel. Did it say all the families of the earth? No, it said all the families of the house of Israel. 
Okay. Verse 5. Thus saith the Abbasimi al Shai, What iniquity have your fathers found in me? That's the point. There ain't no iniquity in the Lord. What iniquity did the Lord do? What's, what iniquity is in the commandments, man? You name one, hey, the scripture say the law is not grievous. No. Okay, the scripture say the law is not grievous, man. What commandment is, is wicked? Okay, not one of them. Okay, verse 5. Thus saith the Abbasmi al Shai, what iniquity have your fathers found in me, Khan? And what did Baruch say? Since the day that our forefathers have been disobedient to thy word. Okay. It says that they are going far from me, right? And our people have went far away from you, Abbas. I'm sorry. All the way off. And our people constantly going off today. Here it is, being a harlot, being a slut, being a hey man, out there in Atlanta, being a stripper is a celebrity, man. You famous for being a stripper. You famous for that, man. That's fame. Out there in uh Guyana or Suriname out there in South America, you got Jake out there publicly. I'm talking about publicly, man. Public, just out there, out there sucking another man's rod, man. And people walking right past him. Like, we got to get out of here, man. Literally, I, literally, you, literally, this man is sitting on the bench, and 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 he's getting, he's, and another man is is is, is sucking his rod, man. And people just walking past him, man. Somebody recording it like, yo, he, like, is this normal? Okay. But that's prohibited. That's, I mean, uh, Slocky, that's not prohibited. That's, uh, um, that's, that's, uh, that's, what, what's the word I want to use for? Uh, that's allowed here, okay? That's allowed here in Babylon the Great, man. That's pushed here in the Babylon the Great. That's acceptable here in America, you see? Well, that's wickedness, man. And your boss me on shy is gonna kill all faggots, all homosexuals, all le all lesbians, man. Okay. It says that they are going far from me and have walked after vanity, and are become vain. That's the point. Now they said, "They, where is the Lord your boss that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, that led us through the wilderness?" Okay. Hey, so the point has been proven, man. You know, our people. Have went far away from y'all, Bashmi Al Shai. Far away from y'all, Bashmi Al Shai. We need mercy, man. We need mercy, you know. And especially the times we're coming into, man. Serious times. Jacob's trouble. All hell breaking loose. Hey, this is gonna look like Venezuela times a million, man. I just did, posted a video out there in Venezuela. They had people, they seen the abandoned house. And people actually was like, fuck it, since it's abandoned shit, we're going to live in there. Hundreds of people living in that house, uh, in that uh, building, whatever it was, man. Out there in Venezuela, that's northern. Even though they getting judged, all right, but it was a point in time for them to get judged. Because they going to fuck off. They still calling on Cesare Borgia. Cesar Borgia, a.k.a. Jesus Christ for you people. Which J is a 500-year-old letter, okay, which was introduced by a man in the alphabet of man. In the bastard language, which is English, when we are Hebrew Israelites, we spoke Hebrew, Paleo Hebrew, Alashwan Kadash, if you will. Okay. All right. So, like I said, man, you know, y'all about to be outside, getting ready to, you know, show that, show that power. All right. Baruch chapter one verse twenty. It says, I'm sorry, verse yeah yeah twenty. Wherefore this the evils cleave unto us, and the curse which y'all about to be outside appointed by Moses his servant. Right, so the Most High Yahweh Shemel Shai appointed, appointed these curses. All right, if we went off, this was the contract. If we went off, this will happen. If you do this, this will happen. This is why we have laws as commandments, which we cannot keep all 613. This is why we have the law of faith, which is through the blood of Hamash Yahweh Shai. All right, which not all men have faith. It says, at that time that he brought our forefathers. It's like our fathers out of the land of Egypt to give us a land that floweth with milk and honey, like as it is this day. Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord, our power, according to all the words of the, of the prophets. You see, according to all the words of the prophets, man. All right, let me read that verse again. Baruch chapter 1, verse 21. Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of Yahweh, our power, according unto all the words of 
of the prophets whom he has who he have sent us man all right so there it is and that's how you know that's more further proof that we are in the last days man we are in the last seconds of the last days because here it is you we are in america and you got brothers across the four corners of the earth in canada italy okay all right you got brothers far out in the middle you got brothers in germany brothers in south america all right you got brothers in africa you got brothers in jamaica you got brothers everywhere across the four corners of the earth that's teaching the same word and speaking the same word as me myself all right and chiefly okay chiefly the elders and apostles of great millstone where this truth sprung out of man in one west okay and that keep the sound doctrine and, and teach this truth man okay last precept verse 22 it says but every man followed the imagination of his own wicked heart to serve strange gods and to do evil in the sight of Yahweh and Mashiach power right and that's what's going on to this day our people walk in the imaginations of their own mind man or in their own heart to serve their own bellies man all right to do what they want to do to me hey because what Jake what Jake say I'm at the bag I'm at the bag all our people want is money money is our people God man money is two-thirds God you see that? And this is why Yahweh Shemel Shai has to take the so called Mini so eat him out of power, man. Because he have destroyed our people, man. Mentally, spiritually, and physically, and emotionally, our people are through. Okay? They don't know who they are. They just walk in vessels of destruction. Walk in vessels of dishonor, man. And this is why Yahweh Shemel Shai has to, has to shorten these days. Because for the elect's sake, man, we will be consumed, man, if, if, if we were here uh, another 10, 15 years, man. Righteous men will be consumed, man. Righteous men in the spirit will be consumed. Not in the flesh, but through the spirit, man. You see? Through the spirit. Righteous men through the spirit will be consumed that just want to serve the Lord. Just want to serve the Lord. Want to get out of the flesh. Want to get out of this flesh. They will be consumed because our people are just wicked and the Lord hates wickedness, man. So this is why we need the mercy. So like I say, through the title... Meditating on the mercy of Yahweh Shemiel Shai, which is given unto us to this day, which is not going to be around for too long. The mercy, the doors of mercy or repentance is closing. Another word for mercy is repentance, man. Okay? Or a synonym, if you will. Okay? So, yeah, like I say, man, Lord's with us was edifying straight to the point, you know, just meditating on the mercy of the Lord. I ain't really get too much into why the mercy, but I got into why we need mercy because we went the fuck off man all the way off being the most highest chosen people of all 18 nations and to not be uh, uh, uh gods on the planet earth but to die like men to fall like one of the princes man being gods come on man so like i say you know a lord's witness was edifying to the elect of israel i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bashem yahushai bashem rakakadash and the water, the water, y'all by some insight for the spirit and truth. As always, double honors to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone who well and taught me his truth through the spirit. Bakatum. Salutations to the Zakarna and Wa'akim across the four corners of the earth that's teaching his truth in sincerity, faith, and honesty. All right, and Shalom, Wahabatham, Wahabakarim, Shalom, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. All right, Shalom.